Portugal holds a special place in my heart. It's the most western country of continental Europe, but it's also where my dad was born and raised. From the north to the south, we journeyed through Portuguese culture, food, and sea cliffs. In the first video of our two-part series, we visited three iconic areas of Portugal. Porto, known for its delectable port wine. Nazaré, home of some of the world's tallest surfable waves. And Fátima, the religious capital and my dad's hometown. Our journey starts in Porto along the River of Gold in search for our first Portuguese dining experience. It is a beautiful evening here in Porto. We just checked into our guest house and now we're just wandering around the city trying to find somewhere to eat because Lauren is starving. I did not eat very much on our way here, but we did get up at 2.30 in the morning, so. Right, I actually forgot about that. We literally got up at 2.30 in the morning today, but I am feeling good, I am feeling energized, probably because I slept on the plane the whole time. First impressions of this city is that it's so quaint and it's a lot quieter than I had expected. We are staying right by the river, we're heading towards there right now. We're super excited to explore the city, but like I said, let's go grab some food first. That salted butter just hits so perfectly when you're hungry on this crispy bread. Mm. We're so excited for a meal. Fish is a thing to get when you're in Portugal. I got the cod, which is really popular in Portugal, and Jason got the hot cake for me. I think that's what it's called. We're gonna see what that tastes like. And we also got a Chereiros mix, which is the restaurant's specialty mix of sausages and lamb. So we get a little bit of both worlds, sea and land. Our entrees have arrived. Lauren got the cod, and I'm very jealous right now because it looks so good. I mean, don't get me wrong, mine looks good too, but that cod, oh. To be honest, babe, I, I'm, I'm probably gonna take half of it. I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm gonna take half of it. Don't worry, babe, I got you. I got you. Thank you. Cause I'll take half of your hate filet. <laughs> Thanks, honey. Jason decided to take us on a hike this morning in the middle of a city. What do you say for yourself, babe? The reason why is I did not realize the Porto is actually very hilly. And one of the main attractions here, which has the best viewpoint, I believe, in this entire city, is Ponte Luis the First. So Luis the First Bridge. The colors in the sky look amazing. Let's head over to the bridge right now and catch this cityscape view. As we're heading to the bridge, there is a spot that is not so secret anymore called Mirador de Porto, which essentially is that rock right up there. We're gonna take these very narrow stairs, we're gonna get up there, and it's honestly, I think, I think, one of the really great views where you can sit on top of the rock and get a great photo of the Ponte Luis, the first bridge.
Right now we're on the other side of the bridge near Jardin do Mojo. Jason is taking some photos, but we're gonna be back here later this evening because this is the spot that is so popular for sunset. We decided to do a river boat cruise and a tuk-tuk tour to see the historical center of Porto. As we were walking around, we noticed this little kiosk that was doing these city tours. So I believe it was 56 euros for the both of us. And with less than 24 hours left in Porto, we thought this was such a great way to go and see the city. And we believe it's also guided. Yes. And this way we should get to learn a little bit about the city because honestly, we're not too familiar and we didn't quite do our research beforehand. That's true. And we also get a port wine tasting at the end. So it's going to be a full Porto experience for this afternoon. When did you? That's why. Oh. <laughs> That's the fun part of the tuk tuk. It's all open. We're going uphill right now, but it's a little slow, but we're a lot less bumpy than when we were going on the cobblestone. Our tuk tuk tour just finished, and unfortunately, the battery on the tuk tuk actually died. So we got dropped off about 100 meters away from the starting point here at San Bento train station. Now this is actually an attraction here in Porto, so we are honestly kind of happy that the battery died. Let's go check out this train station. From land to water, we're now doing a Ribeira cruise. We are touring the Douro River. Douro means of gold, so the Golden River as we tour six bridges that connect Porto to Gaia. The included wine tasting with the tour package is at Porto Cruz, which is a riverfront place, and they have two different wines that you can choose from. The port wine, which is a traditional tawny, and it's a little bit darker, drier, and then this one's more refreshing. It's a newer one, it's rosé. So we're really excited to try them, and they smell delicious. Mm, definitely really great to have for dessert. Oh, that's really good, sweet. It's not as dry as I was expecting. It's got that musky taste. It just tastes like jam in a way as well. Hmm. This one's a little bit tangier than I was expecting. First one. <laughs> Color looks good. <laughs> Smells like wine. Tastes like wine. <laughs> In all seriousness, this actually is um, its actually quite refreshing. I expected a much deeper taste, but it tastes really light. Well, I did not expect that actually. I thought this would be the much lighter one. This is a lighter one. This is actually easy to drink. If I were to choose one, normally I would pick this, but I think I'm going to have to go with this one, the original. As 
promised, we came back to the same spot that we started off this morning, and that is in the city of Gaia. Now, you may have heard us say Gaia a number of times throughout this video, and that's because generally people like to think that all the areas surrounding the Dual River is considered a portal, but it's actually not. On the south side of the river is technically the city of Gaia, and the north, Porto. So the minute you cross that bridge, you're technically in Gaia. Right now, we are at the monastery in Gaia, which offers a beautiful view of the sunset we're going to catch here tonight. We actually did stop here during the Tuk Tuk tour. We did, and hopefully we catch a really great sunset over Douro, because tonight is our last night in Porto as we head off to a wedding tomorrow. Estamos aqui hoje para celebrar as melhores coisas da vida. Estamos aqui. This morning, we made the two hour drive south from the Dodo Valley to come to the coast to see Nazare, where there are some of the biggest waves on the planet for surfing. Nazare is such a pretty coastal town and there's two main areas to take note of. There's the area below and that's the beach where everyone's just dipping in that gorgeous water. And then you have the cliffside and that's where we are right now, which offers probably the best vantage point because when you look down, you see the gorgeous red roofs along with the eggshell colored houses. Mix that with the yellow sand and that gorgeous blue water. It's honestly such a great view. And if you're around this area, you'll notice the souvenirs have distinctive appearances. So You'll see a bunch of dolls that I'm not too familiar with, but you'll also see some kitchen accessories. Mm -hmm. You'll see these cork boards with mosaics. And that's a very popular thing that Portuguese households will have. I have a bunch at my place, at my great aunt's, great uncle's places. And you'll also notice this rooster as a souvenir in a bunch of places. It's called the Galo de Barcelos, and it's the embodiment of Portuguese love of life. You'll see that all across Portugal. Nazare, we drove 45 minutes east to come to a small, quaint, and beautiful town called Fatima. Now, Fatima is the town that my dad was born and raised, and right behind me is actually the parish of Fatima where he was baptized. We're going to be spending this entire day here with family, grabbing some egg tarts, and touring this beautiful religious town. We had to grab some Portuguese egg tarts before leaving Fatima. So my dad took us to this really cute place called Milano. Right now he's actually talking to one of our cousins. We just run into cousins every single time that we're walking down the street. But we are so excited to dig in and the cappuccinos look amazing to go with our egg tarts. <laughs> 